picture I'm showing you is of the captain's well as originally was uh, created uh, with wooden uh, shed over the top and there's one blade sticking on the side where you used to be able to pour, bring the water up in a barrel and then pour it out of the chute and put a pail underneath so it wouldn't spill it all over the place. But since then they have uh, built a stone wall around with a bench and so forth so that you can, have with a bubbler, so you press the button, you can have the water. It's a lot easier, of course, than than when they had the just the bucket. But I bet the water is a lot cooler. It was a lot cooler then than it is now. This is the Winniscom Yacht Club that uh, was up where um, uh, Eleanor Bailey lives now. It's been all modified and. Uh, and made into a dwelling. That is my understanding. My grandfather, great grandfather, uh, is in, sitting on the porch there with a the bunch of the fellows that are, are out there watching the boat. Now we have a picture of the um, where the church, where the Christian church used to be, or where the Christian church is now. Uh, and his first, I think his first visitor was Mr. Macron. Uh, and uh, but at that at this time, uh, when this picture was taken, it was just a field and that big house that's in the background. I don't know to whom it belonged, but anyway, it uh, it has been it was torn down and. The house that the Webbers live in now, Mrs. Weber lives in now, is is the house that was constructed on that property. And of course, the blank shade where the field is right out front here, at the corner of Rocky Hill Road and Main Street, has been the church, the new the Christian church is now. Over to your right is the Mar uh, Marl House, looking up. We're looking up Rocky Hill Road from down on Main Street. Now we're looking at the, uh, looking down from uh, just about where that, how old that house was, looking down towards uh, the river. You can see the, the house at the, at the foot of the house, foot of the hill, that uh, was uh, it belongs to the Frenches, but. Originally, it really belonged to the Manures and some who else before that, I don't know. But uh, it was moved uh, further to the right as we're facing the picture. And you can see another little building, and you can see the horse out beside the building. It's a blacksmith shop. And then look at the huge elm tree there. It's no longer there, but uh, the house that is right there by the church is uh, by the. Uh, uh, tree is the Fifefield House, and across the street is the Marl House again. Now we see the Christian Church, Salisbury Point Christian Church. I'm a little vague on the, on the whole history of the church, but it was up in the lane that goes by between the Trebinus, Trebanians and the uh, Dr. Dr. Beans. Way in back there was it was the church, and all I remember is one part of the church building still there, up till the 50s when uh, it was used to, as a garage. But that was eventually was torn down. Now we see the storage place that was right across the street from where from 436 Main Street. Uh, and the building that you can see on the left is a boat shop. They used to build the boats, drop them down to the next floor, slide them down, tear them down to the next floor, and then paint them and then put them outside waiting for shipment. Here you can see the uh, the uh, digger. Oh boy! 
Now you can see the uh, steam shovel taking the, uh, ro the, the tar macadam road up and, and getting ready to put in a cement road all the way down the main street. It was quite a quite a uh, sight for us kids as, when we were growing up to watch them do this. And after they got the the forms all ready and put in, getting ready to put in the the uh, reinforcements, we used to uh, uh, down, help them uh, help them tie the uh, reinforcements together. It was a great game. When the trolley cars came along, if they couldn't get by, they stopped and they changed and they'd meet. And uh, people would have to get out and change cars, either going to Newburyport or Amesbury. But it, it was uh, part of the part of the activity and part of the job of getting the the uh, good cement road put in here. And now we're looking up Rocky Hill Road on the morning after a snowstorm. It was a wet snow in the springtime. I think it was around the Easter time, back in 1930-something or the early 30s. Or, yep. And uh, you can see how slushy it must be. And you're looking up there. There's the Weber's house and then the Trebanians and then what is now Dr. Beans was our, where I was living when I was a youngster. And then on the right-hand side, you can just see the corner of the uh, a uh, store that was run by Cliff True. Eventually it was run by uh, uh, Howard Liner and then, gra and then taken over by Mr. Manu and then gradually uh, closed up and, and, is, and fixed up as it is now with the being, uh, first it was rented and then, uh, then uh, it has since been sold just recently. Now we see the the true boat shop with the um, the big the bad back dark building there. On the left hand side is the dwelling of of the uh, Jewett girls. I don't know exactly, uh, but anyway, they, the the uh, true boat shop. They'd make the trawlers large. Oh, I don't know what the length was. Probably thirty footers or more. And uh, every summer it was fun to watch them. Uh, We'd be around to watch them launch the thing, and it slide down the ways and and into the river, and then they take it down to report and the, and uh, take it off to Gloucester or wherever. But it was uh, quite a business in those days. As three of the boats uh, out here sailing one afternoon, Boy Jones, myself, and I think the other was Paul. Pritzel for sale, and uh, we used to uh, have a lot of fun out there and the, when the wind was just right. There's a picture that down in the bottom, down uh, over across from the uh, from my house, and uh, they just I think it's my mother. I don't remember, but it. it uh, I thought it would be good to show the style of that particular time. It's a little over uh, they, when they was developed. I used too much. I developed it too. Much. Now we're down. Now we're uh, right out here and right across the street at uh, Long Walk and back of French's. It was called Long Walk at that time and. Uh, sticks out into the river. I believe uh, Steamer Merrimack stopped by at times to pick up people going to Haverhill or going for a ride. Whoop. But uh, And here's down in back of where Lenny Johnson lived, the rocks that stick out there. We used to call it Boilies Rocks because the boils live pretty close to that, uh, to the rocks there. And, uh, and the Bickwood paint shop where it used to do uh, striping for uh, sleighs and wagons in the days back in the 20s. 
as uh, Sam, Sam Bailey and myself out sailing one beautiful afternoon with the wind was east and it was just, just a beautiful breeze. We really enjoyed it. Here's a picture looking from up in front of Bailey's down down river towards the boat shops. And I'll I'll zoom in on them so you can get a better view of the uh, to your left is the first of the storage sheds of, of Lowell's boat shop. And then uh, there was another building that is still there that they used to uh, uh, that they paint and buy, put the finishing touches on the boat. The main part is the next building, the second, third building there. And then they had another building where they stored uh, lumber and got the boats ready to be shipped off by train up at the Rocky, uh, up at the uh, point, uh, Salisbury Point station. The next building is Marcus Moles. Uh, and it, uh, he made, uh, he made sales boats, uh, which eventually were called, uh, well, I can't think of hand what the name of it is now, but it was a, it got to be a famous, I had one, Sam, uh, Boydie Jones had one, Sam Bailey had one, we all had them made, die Marcus. As the house that I used to live in when I was a little fella, in fact, up until I was married, I lived there. And the people on the stairs, steps there, are my my grandmother, my mother, the one, the little one, in the sitting, standing on the on the top stair, and then there was uh, one of the aunts, great aunts. But that's the way. It, you notice that at the time that the front door was instead of a single door, it was a double door for the. They had a two-family setup. There's the uh, there's a looking of the uh, debris there after a fire fire in the in the, up in the central t part of town. Many buildings were uh, burned. I have an article someplace that tells all about the the time they had that bad fire. Now, I don't know, you can see the smoke coming from the steamboat. It's the steamer Merrimack or the steamer Haverhill headed downriver towards Newburyport. They went, I think, as far as Black Rocks and then uh, took people down for the joyride. And, and uh, everybody probably had a great time. There's Chain Bridge, but it's it's not the original Chain Bridge, but uh, it uh, I just had a picture of it, so I stuck it in. see a picture of the uh, railroad bridge across uh, the Merrimack down between Salisbury and Newburyport and on the bridge if it would it was only a little better closer up you'd see the train going along There's about five train engine pulling about five cars across the bridge or the approach to the bridge
just barely see it. Here's a set of pictures that I took of pan making a panoramic view of the river looking up in front of Bailey's. That's Chandler's. You can look down further and see down by French's. Now you see the. This is different than the black and white picture that I have of Panorama View because there's the bridge that wasn't there in those days. 